Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and as some of you may already know, I recently purchased a Windows Phone 7. Uh, I have the HTC Surround right here. It is branded with HTC on the left side and AT&T on the right side, so you know I am on a Windows Phone 7, and obviously I do have the Windows Phone 7 OS. So uh, as you can see right here, it is just completely normal. It has a white background with blue live tiles. And uh, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to demonstrate that I can completely change the background color from white or black to uh, basically whatever I want. Uh, and I can also change the live tile color as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide over and then just go into the normal settings application, which is right there and I'm gonna go ahead and go to theme and then what I'm gonna do is just change it to dark now because I actually did go in uh, with a registry editor I actually changed the normal dark theme to a uh, sort of bluish theme and then I can go ahead and actually change the accent color as well as you can see these are just all the normal default accent colors but when I scroll up I have these custom colors that I actually made in another application that I sideloaded onto my device that I will be talking more about in a uh, little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and just set it to this gray color right there now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my home screen and as you can see I have a blue background with gray live tiles which isn't supported by Microsoft and uh, I actually accomplished this by sideloading two different applications onto my phone. What I did was I sideloaded this application right here, Advanced Config, onto my phone. And then I just went over into Themes, and then I created a new theme, and then it lets you create custom accent colors. Now, what I did to actually change the background to blue was I sideloaded a Registry Editor application on. So here's my Registry Editor, and then I went in and I actually changed the default background color, and I uh, actually changed the hex string to uh, this sort of bluish color. Now for some more proof, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is scroll down and I'm gonna go ahead and hit this uh, airplane mode live tile right there and then it instantly takes me to the airplane mode inside of the settings app. I don't have to actually browse through settings and then go to airplane mode. So uh, that's another really cool thing that you can do once you have an unlocked device. Uh, I am also gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing with location uh, right there. Uh, as you can see, it just went to location. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do it one more time with Wi-Fi and now it took me to my Wi-Fi portion of the settings application. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sideload an application really quick. So uh, as you can see right here, there is only one thing under the T section. It is Translator because I am going to be loading on an application called TA Maps, which uh, is also Google Maps. So as you can see, the only thing there right now is Translator. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my cable, which is right here, and I'm going to plug it into my uh, HTC surround and then I'm going to just launch this application right here it comes with the uh, Microsoft SDK and now I already have an XAP file selected uh, to deploy onto it so uh, what I'm gonna do is just click on deploy and as you can see it's deploying the file and now my icons just refreshed and I have TA maps right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug my phone really quick and now I'm gonna go into TA maps and now as you can see it is loading up and it says Google over there in the left hand corner and in the right hand corner it says TA so this is indeed Google Maps and I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom in on uh, a state here really quick I'm just gonna zoom in on a random state and as you can see uh, it just keeps zooming in and it works 100% and for those of you that know uh, Google Maps does not work on the Windows Phone 7 but when I just sideloaded TA Maps onto my Windows Phone 7 I do get the Google Maps functionality so uh, just be sure to stay tuned because I will be releasing a video teaching you guys how to unlock and sideload applications on your Windows Phone 7 so if you have anybody that is actually interested in how to sideload applications or uh, how to unlock their Windows Phone 7, just be sure to let them know about my channel and tell them to subscribe to me. And just be sure to rate this video up and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And again, just subscribe to me to be notified when I do release my video on how to unlock the Windows Phone 7 OS. This is ICU, signing out.